All right, so I got my stuff from downforsoundshop.com, which, you know, this is the one package I want to open up first just because uh, there's quite a bit of damage. Like, I could just straight up to my door pull out, you know, FT1 tweeter from Crescendo. So just curious to see if anything freaking fell out, which is, you know, not their problem, really. It's just... This fucking package was super heavy. And there goes my keys, but it says it's I don't know what this even means, but it does look like the gross weight maybe. I have no idea what that means. It says 30 pounds, but there's no way this is 30 pounds. Whatever the hell's in here. So let's start stopping away. Plus, I took a picture of it. Just in case it's one thing you want to do with packaging. Just take a picture of it before you open it. If it's especially damaged like that. Because I got... There's uh, 50 feet of OFC wire. Zero gauge. Of course, my cat's gonna be like freaking out because he literally loves boxes and shit. So, there's quite a few stuff in here. I think there's some amplifiers in here. Or, well, speakers, anyhow. Alright, so we got the Neo 8s. So, I think what I'm gonna do. Is unpacking this stuff. So it's definitely hard to do with one hand. But I'm recording with an S S or no eight rather. Okay, here's a six and a half. Those are gonna go in the front, these are going in the back back. So my computer room, there's chairs in the way. Got some shirts. Sweet. Some free ass shirts. Pull out some more guts. <laughs> Got that four gauge wire OFC. Lots of that. More speakers. Got that six and a half. Um, this just says priority mail. I don't know what that even is. Uh, more shirts. I'm literally just pulling it out like as it is. I mean, my FT1s. More FT1s. Let's pull out this big bundle of, uh, I think this is 14. See, it's 14 gauge, but the whole spool broke apart. Which kind of sucks, because that's going to be a wired mess. Same thing, like I purposely bought the actual spool, so I would be able to have a spool. But, I mean, I even bought the... I've bought exactly 50 feet, which comes in a spool. But evidently, it didn't really come in a spool. Or everything just broke apart in shipping, and then they had to throw it all back together or something, because I don't know if he just cut it off and reeled it around this pipe. But, I mean, this for sure is supposed to come in a spool. But I, evidently, that didn't really happen. Which is fine. Because it's just going to go in my car. It's just easier to put it on a spool. Another 8 inch. 250 watts RMS. We'll have to open up all this other stuff. I don't even know exactly what that is. More presents. Ooh, is this an amplifier? I think so. Ooh. Sorry about the video. I'm sure it's going to look awful. C2000.4 for just the mids. Which I am severely over... Well, I have, my amplifiers are overpowering what I need right now. Because I only have... Basically... Four. So... You know, I don't have... I mean, these do... I think this does... Uh, yeah, 300... 300 watts at 4 ohms, and these are 4 ohms, at least they're supposed to be, if hopefully they are. 
Let me see. Yeah, they're four ohms. So basically, I can put 300 watts on, you know, a 250 watt eight inch. So that's nice. So these things, this thing's gonna freaking scream, dude. It's gonna be crazy because these are the UN. So these are the ones that will have the higher, a little bit more higher pit like frequencies rather than the PWXs, which can hit even lower. Like I think these are. Um, the range is, the PWXs are like 85 uh, hertz and up, and then it cuts off at a certain frequency, a higher frequency. But for these ones, they start at like 110 or 120 of operating range of that, uh, that wattage, I should say. Because obviously you could try to put it, you know, 70 hertz to it, but... So, got a ton of stickers and stuff. So I'm gonna just gonna have to go through that. So, let's have two more amplifiers. Um, and then I got two subs as well. So, I'm not gonna really show my address because that's not really needed. Alright, so we'll go to the next package. I'm gonna pull out the rest of the stickers in here. And then we'll see if we got everything in our shipment. Because I didn't even have to literally open the box. It was already open. But, um... I just had to rip this tape. Luckily that tape was there, otherwise this shit would just be flying out. So I'm going to unpackage all the rest of this, bring in the other packages, and be right back. So if I sound ex super, super, super excited, it's because I really freaking am. Because all of this stuff was is pretty much so far my dream build as far as being somewhat realistic. I mean, three car batteries and a aftermarket alternator and three amplifiers to me is somewhat realistic once you get into the barrier of 818s and suv that's not really realistic that's just straight up sport um which you know i would love to do but <laughs> not right now because <laughs> that's just a lot of moolah my cats are enjoying all the packaging so this is the big box um i'm gonna assume that the 4k uh, BC 4K from Crescendo's in here, and the um, Class AB 4 channel. So the C 1100.4, I believe. And then I got everything out out of this box, and I don't think anything's missing. So luckily, that tape was there. I'm not even. I haven't even opened this yet, dude. I haven't even opened it. I don't. I don't want to open it until I got everything squared away. I'm super excited to even just look at this. I got the battery distribution. I got a, a extra D3100 on top of a kinetic battery that I've had for a minute, but that's kind of like another group 3100. It's not as powerful as the excess power uh, battery, but um, I got that one and another excess power up front. So I got three total, you know, AGM batteries with a 220 alt. So I'm going to get this because this is all completely tape, taped and coffin <laughs> pretty much it, you won't be able to get that out so i'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this and then i'll be right back it's about to go down <laughs> son oh my gosh hell yeah dude i haven't even opened them dude i just want to see that iconic orange like that copper type deal on crescendo's front of the amplifier but we got two more packages to do that was crazy to get out <laughs> took me a minute that's why i'm out of breath i'm just super excited ripping it open like literally a kid on christmas so sweet got those t-shirts i got I got three i believe just in that one package um these like i got the ft1 crossovers just in case if i really wanted them um instead of like tune in my uh amplifier 100 percent perfect those ones will just automatically tune it basically um a bunch of uh down for sound shop.com lanyards which is awesome and then uh, a bunch of voltmeters and i think i got three or four shirts so far so let's continue on oh you already know i already know you can't really see that logo on the side but here we are, XV212s, uh, dual forum. I'm gonna wire them down to one ohm. 
out there written when I was talking about XV2 12 dual 4 ohm. I'm gonna wire it down to uh, 1 ohm on the BC4K there. So these will be, should be pretty mean. So I got a bread knife because <laughs> apparently that's the first knife I saw. So I was like, well, I'm gonna use that. You know, I was using keys, but that package that I was doing for the uh, amplifiers were ridiculous. I'm just cutting into the cardboard now. One side. Yeah, they got some nasty tape, dude. So, this box did have a tad bit of damage on the side of it somewhere. One of the sides were all like beat in, but I'm sure that won't be a problem. I'm gonna add this to the collection of stickers. This is a badass sticker that looks pretty reflective, like silver. It's got this big old. Cardboard spacer. Oh, dude. Oh. Wow. See, I have the ZV518, so I was expecting to open this up and just be, like, blown away by how dumb big it is. But, dude, these will totally fit. Totally fit. Because I was worried about that. I was like, whatever. Like, 12s will just fit. I know it. But, hell yeah. These are fucking mean. Those are going to freaking bump, dude. All right, I'm going to pull this out real quick. Oh, these things are a beauty. I still got that other one open, but damn, dude. So, I have Alpine Type R's right now that were free, and they've been... So I got them from my cousin. And those are right now what I use because they were just free. And I have an 18 anyway uh, from Sundown. But, yeah, upgrading the... The smaller build. This thing's gonna be insane, dude. Look at that. Holy shit. I'm happy to finally get some uh, competition, you know, style kind of subwoofers instead of just going with the mediocre shit. Like, I've, I've had Diamond D3s before in high school, and then I had RE Audio, 600 watt RMS, and their Alpines are 600 watt RMS, and then I got a CT Sounds 1400.1D on the Alpine Type R's. So I'm pushing that pretty well, but nothing like what it's going to be. This is totally upgrading from a 4K to two four channel amps. It's going to be insane. So I'm out of breath because I'm freaking opening these up super quick. So yeah, these subs are going to be awesome which i'll be doing a comparison between these and the 18 because i got the 18 out of the box right now um i mean obviously the 18 is going to be monstrous because it's a zv5 and it's an 18 versus uh x12 but these i mean fuck i might just put these in the box that i have right now built that i built out of birch for my alpines even though it's going to suck i don't think the magnet uh depth would be all right actually it probably would but um what i might have to do is invert these subs with how it is even though i don't want to but i might have to so we'll get to that later but i'm going to open up the last one and get this all put together and start opening up the actual amplifier boxes and the uh, midwoofers and tweeters so stay tuned all right we're back after muscling those open my cat just saying hello. <laughs> um, I'm going to open up the amps. And the first exact amp that I'm going to open up has to obviously be the 4K, dude. I mean, why not? <laughs> 4K is a brand new line. Uh, it kind of replaced 3.5K. So, so we'll get we'll get this opened. Let me, actually, I'm just going to set this aside. Literally... Come over here and literally just open it because it's the first time, dude. This is like what I've dreamed of as a kid, dude. Now I'm 23. <laughs> have a real ass job and uh, able to fucking actually afford stuff like this is awesome. That's why you live. 
and shout out to JP for making it be able to be really easy to do so. Let me go in here. Wow. That is amazing. So I'm gonna set this camera down real quick. See if I can even just prop it up. This, this thing is heavy, man. Huh. Look at that shit. It's freaking amazing. Right. So I'm gonna grab piece knob and some other things that come out of this. Can we get a crescendo audio stick with this? Cause that would be suck if I didn't. It. Set it down and make sure that she's gonna be good to go. Um, yeah, man, this is. I'm gonna check out, make sure there's no damage to it or anything like that, as far as um, anything done to the mounting feet or anything like that, because sometimes shipping can be really shitty to uh, really expensive car audio. So, all right, I'll be right back. Wow, this thing is just straight mean. Like, look at <laughs> look how the light just glistens right across that whole <laughs> front face. That's what I'm saying is the iconic. I mean, this is the base clef 4K. They they simplified it simplified it instead of like doing like BC 3500. Now it's just BC 4K. Um. I mean, you guys know the shebang if you're watching this. You probably uh, know a little bit about car audio. Maybe not, because I'll probably post to some people that have no idea what's going on. And they're just curious, curious to see, like, what I just bought. But uh, Tiffany-style RCAs, I think these are 4-gauge outputs for speaker terminals. If not, they're 8-gauge. Uh, but I think, yeah, that's 4-gauge. I guarantee it. Then uh, dual zero gauge inputs for positive negative dual so yeah some serious freaking power man we'll go on to the other ones well i'm back in a short uh one minute later my cat has found his bc 4k cardboard box and he's just chilling in it but got the concerto that's it's you know concerto whatever series C1100.4, Class AB, this thing is a fucking beast, dude. I mean, this is like a one of the biggest AB amplifiers there is. Like, with, I mean, and this is just powering my tweeters. <laughs> to literally just say that these are just, power, this is just powering my tweeters. It's almost as big as my bass amp, which is 4K. But the ABs are, have a bigger footprint. That's why, like, my, I'll open up my, class d4 channel instead of my class a b4 channel and it'll be a lot smaller just because um a b is less efficient but is more clear as far as um just overall quality but class d amps have been getting pretty good um in the modern age so sometimes they're not even uh worth it to have anymore but i wanted it anyway because i'm eventually going to get more than one tweeter per channel it's going to be, I mean, you could throw on four per channel if you really wanted to, if you get the 8 ohm. Um, so, looking forward to that. So, we will be right back. Alright guys, so I'm in my office slash computer room right now. Um, it's a few days after when I recorded everything else. I'm actually editing the video currently. Um, just wanted to follow up. And I was going to go in depth a little bit more about each product. However, 
it kind of got to the point where the video was, you know, pretty, pretty long. Just for me rambling on and being excited about car audio and stuff. Uh, but I think I'm going to do um, some product reviews of each, you know, product individually as far as, you know, doing a YouTube video about it. So some people can just, you know, search for that and then get a proper information with that video instead of having a 20 minute long video. This video is purposely just to be an unboxing of my ex excitement, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this. And um, if you like the video, like it. If you want to subscribe for more, because I'm going to actually start doing the build on the neon. And I'm going to, um, right now I got it in the shop actually now. And it's getting worked on. But I'm going to be doing some build videos, uh, building some subwoofer boxes. I do woodworking as well. EXO style, if you know what I mean. Right now I don't have a... Uh, a pretty much um, a table saw, but you know, I do pretty good accurate cuts with just a regular circular saw, so I can kind of show you guys that. And I also have a router and stuff, so stay tuned. Um, in the next video, um, I'll probably go over some individual products or start the build because once I actually start the build, I go hardcore at it, you know, waking up early before work and getting it done while there's daylight and then i come home at nine o'clock at night so all right guys well that's in for this video so we'll see you next time